What do y'all? It's your boy King Ed the Great coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button for me. So I want to talk about Griselda with this video here. And there's two concerns that a lot of their base is having. Number one, you see the embracement from mainstream acts to Griselda. Most recently, you probably heard that Lil Wayne and Big Sean did a song with Benny the Butcher. Now, back in the day, we used to have a lot of problems with that because usually in some cases, when the mainstream start embracing a certain underground sound, those underground acts or the underground groups start changing up. I see the pro opposite with, with Griselda. If anything, I see when these guys rock with Griselda, they got to step their game up. Just like Benny said that he want to work with Rick Ross, he want to work with Drake. I don't have no problem with that because if anything, I'm confident that they're going to bring their A game to the table and make good music. It's good to see that they're not pigeonholed into the underground. So I'm not really worried about that at all. Now, oversaturation, that may be an issue because you don't want these guys to overburn themselves. West Side Gun, he put out Fly God is an Awesome God, Hitler 7, Fly God is an Awesome God 2, Pray for Paris, and Who Made Sunshine in One Year. Not to mention the Griselda Project released on Shady Records. And of course, you know, you had Benny with the Black Sopranos Project. And Conway the Machine, he recently put out an album. Or a mixtape for whatever you want to call it. He been putting in work with the mixtapes and albums as well. He put out God Don't Make Mistakes and From a King to a God. And he got another one coming out in November. So, I'm looking at it like this. The game has changed. If you ain't put out an album in a year, people going to think you done. Or they're going to forget all about you. Now, I feel that these guys have all the tools and connection in place. Why not keep releasing music? Why, put, why keep telling them when to release music. If these guys want to keep on feeding their audience, let them. And not to mention the fact that they're consistently good. These albums and mixtapes are good. So, it may be a concern because people don't want oversaturation to play a role because we've seen it happen with many acts. We've seen it happen with 50 Cent when... They were releasing mixtapes every week, and 50 was everywhere in 2004 and 5. But I don't see this problem with Griselda. I don't see this problem with Griselda at all, because I see that they're taking their time. They're linking up with the right pieces. They work with Premier. They work with Alchemist. They work with many people that can bring the best out of them. So that's why I don't have a problem with them releasing new music. So... Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think they will be a victim of oversaturation? Do you guys think that if the mainstream embrace them, they're going to water down their sound? Holler at me.